In the next 10 years, what should you be expecting from our school? The school that, is, that can boast of one of the best clinic, veterinary hospital in West Africa, with veterinary doctors, both in training, and some specialists that can handle surgery. We are thinking of a master's in field and PhD in the area of clinical studies. Specifically, we are not differentiating in genealogy, surgery, medicine, but we are bringing them together as a player in the hospital. And we are looking at masters in veterinary hospital management. Because many of the hospital managers we have are not well trained. So these are areas that we are thinking about, not just in clinical studies, but areas like some one another one is aquatic health because fish is an emerging area in veterinary practice and we are also thinking that we have sent one of our students is doing his phd in aquatic he has, he has done his mass field in liverpool now he is uh, in stanley and is doing his phd in tuskegee and another one specializes in the area of immunology in tuskegee when these two finish they will be joining our school to develop these my MPhil and the PhD program in the area of aquatic health and um, clinical studies, so also hospital, veterinary hospital administration. Let me quickly touch the area of um, undergraduate training. First, we have a very well established veterinary, we have talked about the different entry. We also have in mind to start veterinary nursing program. This veterinary nursing program will help us to produce nurses, veterinary nurses, specific, that will be able to help in the area of rural health care, animal health care delivery system. We are, they are going to spend two years in KNUST, and the other two years will be spent in our farm which is situated in Insuta. Insuta, this, um, Insuta Central Central gave us 12 acres of land where we are developing as a research center and an area that we, we house our veterinary nursing program. Now, the other one is veterinary laboratory technician program, which is lab veterinary laboratory technology, where we will develop technicians that are specific for our laboratory because veterinary laboratory is different from human laboratory we talk about emo analyzer there are veterinary emo analyzer that look at peculiarities in the hematology in the serum biochemistry in the cytology of animal uh, animal tissue or products from animals either blood, urine, and all that. They analyze it to bring out the changes that has occurred. So we need this training to be able to put the laboratory technician in the right perspective to let them understand what veterinary medicine and veterinary subjects want and what we need as veterinary doctors to be able to diagnose rightly. So in essence, the school for undergraduate we are planning a BSc program in veterinary nursing, BSc program in veterinary um, laboratory technology. So in terms of masters, we are thinking of MPhil and PhD in aquatic health, MPhil and PhD in clinical studies, and MPhil and PhD in veterinary hospital management. So these are some of the things we have in mind. Now, in the area of research, not that we have not gotten grant, we are very fortunate to be part of the GWAC, which is situated in the College of Health Sciences, made up of scientists from Faculty of Allied Medicine. And we also have our scientists from School of Veterinary Medicine, scientists from Clinical Microbiology, and scientists also from Public Health.
coming together to write a grant to solve the aspect of zoonosis uh, or one health in West Africa. I am the lead for zoonosis in Ghana and we are looking at zoonotic diseases and also role in which wildlife and other animals play in the transfer of these zoonotic diseases to humans. So with that in mind, we, we are fully grounded as a school to work on zoonotic diseases. Presently, we have three scholars from Nigeria. One is from the University of Nigeria in the eastern part of Nigeria. Another from the University of Ilorin from central Nigeria. Another one from the University of Ibadan, which is from the western Nigeria. Uh, with using um, that scholarship uh, through AGNS, NES, grant. One has come from University of um, um, Agriculture, Makodi, which is actually also from the central region. So we have had about four scholars to our laboratory uh, where we major more in immunohistochemistry. And uh, the, our laboratory for, for immunology, parasitology, and uh, molecular is, uh, is ready to also accept scholars from all over Africa. Um, these are some of the landmarks achievement that we have achieved, not only um, in KNUST, but through our collaborators that have made us stronger, not just as a school of veterinary medicine, but as a top player in the area of One Health. And to, for great, for one of these great collaborators is FAO that has really collaborated with us to float a number of workshops which we have participated in, especially in the area of One Health, meat inspection, poultry value chain, all over Ghana. And that has made us to move from one region to the other. Not only selling uh, One Health, we are also making people to know that the School of Veterinary Medicine is unique and uh, is the best in Ghana. And we are hoping.